Welcome to the solutions for January the 1st at 5 a day foundation. So here we've got the inequality 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 8. So we want to first of all get rid of the plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take 2 away from both sides. So let's take away 2 and take away 2. 3x plus 2, well take away the 2, we'll just leave you with 3x. And then that's less than or equal to, well 8 take away 2 is 6. Next, we don't want the times by 3, so we're going to do the opposite, divide by 3. We're going to divide both sides by 3. So we divide by 3 and divide by 3. 3x divided by 3, well that's just x. And then that's less than or equal to, well 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the answer is x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, next question. A car decreases in value by 10% each year. It said it was bought for £5,000. How much will it be worth after two years? So the, uh, let's do after one year, first of all. So after... Okay, so 10% of 5,000 is 500. And we're going to take that away. So let's work out what that is. 5,000. Take away 500. That's 10% of it. Leaves you with 4,000. So that's how much it would be worth after one year. Let's then do after two years. So after two years. So we've got our 4,500, uh, 4, and we're going to take away 10% of that. So divide this by 10 to get 10%, that's 4, uh, 450. So let's work out what that is. So 4,500, take away 450, that's going to leave you with 4,050 pound. That's it. So after two years, it'll be worth 4,050 pound. Okay, our next question, our next question says, find the length of the missing side. So as you can see, it's a right angle triangle. There's a missing side and we've been given to, so it's a Pythagoras question. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's label the sides. So a is the smallest, four, I like to do this one. Uh, b is the next one, which is then six, and c is the largest, the hypotenuse, which is then the unknown one. So let's put our numbers into the formula. Instead of a squared, we're gonna write four squared, plus instead of b squared, we're gonna write six squared, and we can just call this c squared. 4 squared is equal to 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 times 6 is 36, and that's equal to c squared. If we add these two together, 16 plus 36, well, that's going to be equal to 52, and that's equal to c squared. Now, we don't want c squared, we just want c, so we're going to do the opposite of square, which is square root both sides. So we're going to get c is equal to the square root of 52, and if you do that in your calculator, square root of 52, it's equal to c is equal to 7.211. I'm just going to leave it like that, centimeters. Okay, our next question. Our next question says to simplify t to the power of 6 times t to the power of 2. Whenever you're simplifying something like this in indices questions, you add the powers together whenever you're multiplying. So we're going to get t to the power of 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. This time we've got dividing, so we're going to take away the powers. So that's going to be m to the power of 5. Okay, and the last question says calculate the perimeter of the semicircle. So to get the perimeter of the semicircle, well, we know the bottom's 15. We just need to get the arc for the semicircle, this part here. So the circumference of the whole circle, this whole circle, would be pi times diameter. So circumference is equal to pi times diameter. So the diameter is 15, so we're going to do pi times 15. This is to get the circumference of the whole circle. So we're going to do pi times 15. So pi times 15. And pi times 15 is the circumference of the whole circle is equal to 47.12388, so on. Don't round this because um, it's better not to round your answers because we're still going to need to divide by 2 and so on. So just keep your, this in your calculator display. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2. So we're going to do 47.12388, so on, divided by 2. And if we divide this by 2 on your calculator, you will get the answer. That's equal to 23.56 one, nine, and so on. Again, it's best not to round until the very end. So I know this distance from here all the way around to here is equal to 23.5619 and so on. But we need to add on the 15 because it's the perimeter of the semicircle the whole way around. So if we do our 23.56 so on, just leaving the calculator display, and we add on 15, so add on 15, you get the answer of 38.5. Six, let's round it to that, 38.56 centimetres. Because perimeter is just measured in centimetres. So they're the solutions for January the 1st foundation, five a day.